this I'm like now so first uh, good evening and welcome to this weekly review of health is wealth activities as every week every Sunday I review the activities of health is wealth on Facebook the group is also available on Instagram and Telegram and also on Link, LinkedIn but mostly of course we have uh, this group on Facebook we've been having this group since 2015 and uh, the main aim of this group as I've always been saying is to communication through infotainment that means we give information in the form of entertainment also. Most of the group activities are concerned with thrills, puzzles and contests. Daily there are about 10, 10 to 12 contests and every week we've got one week, one contest every week, every day, weekday. That means about six contests in every week. And uh, every day we have 10 about 12 contests and uh, with credits, we give credits to everyone who participates in this and uh, whoever gets the great, uh, largest number of credits get, becomes the credit topper and he gets the cash prize and he knows. This time the cash prize is 2000 rupees because last time the person who got it awarded it back to the group and I'm, I'll announce the man, I mean the person who got it this time also. Uh, first, I should announce the person who got the credit topper award. I'm glad uh, simultaneously what I'm saying is being uh, reflected. I should be more clear, I think, because some of the words are not clear. Okay, so we live and learn. Okay, so now we come to the group proper. And I hope I'm visible and audible to everyone. Because I'm standing at a distance now from the camera. And as you can see, this time, the top of the credits is Dr. Girish Bhaskar. He is a practicing pulmonologist from Florida, USA. And uh, he got the maximum amount of uh, number of credits. This time uh, there are a lot of uh, contests and puzzles and uh, spotters and health quiz and clinical quiz, all these. And the person who got the maximum number of credits this time was Dr. Girish Bhaskar. Maybe this is the first time he got it, I don't know. Maybe he had it earlier. But since we started the cash prize, I'm sure uh, this this format, I'm sure this is the first time uh, Girish Bhaskar got this credit topper prize of uh, 2,000 rupees. He got the pri credits of 925, a little higher than the second in uh, contention, which is Sh uh, Madam Shamla Nuri, who got 810 credits, followed by Devaki Yagala, who was the previous topper. She got 720, just like Madhusudan Rao, who also got 720. So they are both the tied in third position. And Madhusudan Rao, Mamilapalli, and previously his wife, Madam Mamilapalli Vijay Lakshmi, also got uh, 690 credits. And both of them uh, are 
very good active members of this group and I'm very glad that all are all both participating and also his son Shivakumar. I'm thankful to the family for participating in this group and making it more lively and active. And then fifth position goes to Chaganti Vishwanath who also made a lot of contributions. And uh, <coughs> then Jalil Lakshmanji, Venkateshan Srinivasan, Kasturi Metapalli, Radha Chala, Mahindra Raju, Padma Mastan, Ravindranath, Nagamani Kambati, Subhendu Chaube. All these people were uh, the next ranks of these credits. And then comes uh, Uma Swami, Raj Singh, Anuna Chavikala, and Prasad Tata. So this is the top 20 people who got the credits, who got the maximum number of credits. In fact, uh, we had uh, a lot of contests. And regarding the contests, I'd like to let's take up. Before going further, I'd like to thank uh, our uh, respected Girish Bhaskar Garu for having uh, donated back his cash prize to the group so that the next cash prize will be about rupees 3000. So that's very good news for us because we have a Lakshmanji in the bus. Okay. So he is watching. Hello, Girish Bhaskar sir. I see you here. You are, you are with us. And I am thankful to you for having returned the cash prize. And the next cash prize will be 3000 to be added back to the prize that's been given. So whoever gets the maximum credits next week will be given a cash prize of 3,000 rupees. 2,000 already is there and the 1,000 the thousand that can weekly is being added to that. So I request all of the members to participate in the various contests and puzzles that daily and weekly we post. So coming to the previous posts, how what we have done over the previous posts, the main thing is uh, uh, let me say, tell you one thing. We, we, we give virtual awards. This is not, uh, this is only figurative. Like, we give a golden throne, and this time the golden throne was been won by Girish Bhaskar. Congrats, sir. And then the silver throne was won by Shamla Nuri, Devaki, Yagalla, and Madhusudan Madhusudan Ragaru from Utah. So, the next. Uh, Diamond Crown was won by Mahalipali Vijay Lakshmi, Chaganti Vishwanath and Lakshmanji. This is about 600 to 699 credits. And the Golden Crown was won by Jalil Sheikh Sheikh Mohammed from Nellor and Venkatesh and Srinivasan from Pondicherry. The Silver Crown was won by Kasturi Metapalli, Radha Achata and Mahindra Raju. The Diamond Stars of the Week who won Diamond Stars were Ravindranath, Kalyampuri, Nagamani, Sudendu Chaube, Uma Swami, Raj Singh, Aruna Chalukala, Prasad Chata, Shiva Subbu, Vimla Popuri, Yalla Mandarao, Ram Siti, Vishnu Bhatla, Anuradha Raja Rao, Sai Ram Veera, and others. And uh, a number of gold medals were also won. And uh, I'm very glad that so many people took part in the contest. As many as 50 people got the credits. And uh, it's been a very good uh, week because there are a lot of uh, very good posts posted by very lot of, lot of people and even ordinary posts are also very good I mean, uh, which are not part of the contests. Coming to the crossword puzzle, it was a bit, bit tough this time it seems and I'm sorry and uh, it was also my fault that one of the clues was not correctly given. That is the number of boxes were supposed to be seven. It, I gave only six, so that could have a lot, lot that could have caused some confusion. But uh, that's why you can't feel that, sir. Yeah, Radha Chatta was telling me that. I should be more careful about the spellings because it was a very tricky spelling, angioid. So A N G I O D. So it's actually there should be another I there. So I missed that. So because of that, probably there was a little confusion. And this time, I'm sorry, I will not repeat that mistake again. I'm sorry for the people who attempted it. And then uh, the 
Saturday puzzle was something which uh, probably people didn't realize. Uh, nobody posed the correct answer. This is actually my white cell in the blood or marrow, picking up dubs like the house sparrow. My job is to kill bugs and crooked cell thugs, but I cannot digest all that I can swallow. So this is, the solution to this is the LE cell, because the topic for that week, or for that day, is the lupus erythematosus, or SLE, as you say. SLE is more common than we think, and uh, it's very underdiagnosed uh, condition. And uh, they diagnose by LE cell phenomenon earlier, when we were house agents or when we were MD, and now other other tests have come, like ANA. And, uh, this is that. This is how the LE cell looks like. Like it is uh, got a. It swallows another cell, but it can't digest it. So you can see the cell within the cell, and that is LE cell. And that's about that uh, puzzle. And then uh, I made a picture puzzle. This time uh, we have actually come out with uh, something like how you can make a name out of a few pictures, something similar to Dumbshaw. This time it was uh, actually Lib and Sachs endocarditis. The Lib is from the Women's Liberation. Man is a man and a card is a playing card and Sachs. So Lib and Sachs endocard. Endo is the endo treatment for canine teeth and other things. And ITIS is a software company. So if you add all of this together, you get the limb and sex and apparatus. This is a manifestation of a celly. And from blast in the past, from blast in the past, Shamla Nuri, as I think, uh, recognized it, I think, or is it Mamil uh, Nepali? Mamil Yeah. Thank you, madam, for recognizing this post. And, uh, and then describe the pic. This is, uh, every day I'll be giving one uh, painting or a pic or an image or a photograph or something and ask you to describe it. Earlier it used to caption the pic, but then uh, people are so poetic in our group that they start writing poems. So I have changed the topic because it is so very interesting. Most of the pics that I post have some meaning behind them. Similarly, the concept of Adhanarishwar. This was beautifully explained by many people, but I think uh, Chaganti got the prize because he posted very clearly about the concept of Adhanarishwar and also about the lion and the cow on the opposite sides. And uh, then there's a spot the location contest. This is actually a location of the the view from the Burj, Burj Khalif. So this is a photograph that I had taken way back in 2014, I think, and uh, from the 144th floor, the tallest uh, tower in the world. And uh, this is how it looks. It's not as uh, majestic as you look from Eiffel Tower, but uh, the industrial area of Dubai. So this is answered correctly, I think, by... Uh, I'm not sure if you Yeah, Mamila Palli Vijay Lakshmi again. So congrats to Mamila Palli Garu for uh, having uh, answered this. And the next uh, contest was about Daily Spotter. Every day we have a spotter, that means something, an image, which should be uh, diagnosed or interpreted, and the findings mentioned at least, the differential diagnosis, etc. This is to, for mostly for doctors and for doctors who are practicing. This is actually an echocardiography, a transesophageal echocardiography of a mitral valve, which showed visitations, verbicus visitations, and this is supposed to be the Lippmann Sachs endocarditis, which I was talking about, the big puzzle. This is a uh, topic about life insurance company, how uh, the initial public offer was not a success, but later the prices have come up and now the quarterly results are good. So why, I mean, I'm associated with LIC, but life insurance is also something to do with the health insurance and uh, how they pay, etc. And then about the common corner was about the rheumatologists being scarce and how we can improve the, what is the, role of homeopathy in uh, rheumatology. Because many patients with joint pains go to homeopaths. Is it really, uh, is it really rational? I think this time we didn't have uh, many people supporting homeopathy at least. 
Because I believe that homeopathy is nothing but placebo therapy. And this fact was disclosed to me by none other than homeopathy, homeopathy professor himself. And then there's a joke corner or a humor corner. So if it's not, and you know Dr. House, my favorite uh, physician on TV, because there's a lot of science fiction there. If it's not lup lupus, it must be marriage. So there's so many jokes about lupus. And then the basic uh, medical topic for the day was a new drug called Belumumab in the form of Belista. This has been available in uh, India, I believe, but I think only orthopedic or rheumatologists use this drug and for IV infusion. And uh, I put some questions about that. And then the best pose for the day, of course, uh, by Shamla Nori and uh, Mahindra Raju. And also Pidharedi Sangaram, who has given the symptoms of magnesium deficiency. Many people don't realize that magnesium is also an important uh, mineral for a body, apart from calcium. And just like calcium, it is uh, a mineral which helps in bone strength, and also it has got several other uh, functions. So thank you, sir, for enlightening us. And then, uh, of course, we have uh, so many and uh, a new person, Mr. Shanmugapriya. Thank you, Shanmugapriya, for giving us uh, some information regarding the urine odor. Okay, but I don't think uh, any of us would like to. Okay, uh, this is a very interesting thing because in those days when there were no chemicals and reagents, people used to diagnose with just looking at the odor, a smell. The faculties of smell also is a part of the clinical medicine and just looking at smelling the urine you can diagnose so many conditions and we got happy birthdays to so many people and then come to the next day the 11th November here there is a question which I passed which is again related to the post that medical post that day the 11th November each of us one of the families 11 hydrolysis like those of seven different substrates and different substrates block one of us and reach seventh heaven. So these are 11 uh, families of what is called phosphodiesterase. This is an enzyme which actually is important in uh, several areas. It's a family of enzymes and there are totally 11 types of PDEs, that is phosphodiesterases, and one drug which blocks PDE5 called silinapil, which causes the a woman, it will cure the erectile dysfunction or make the patient more potent and that's why I said block one of us and you'll reach seventh heaven. So, apart from this, the uh, PDE4 antagonist is supposed to be helpful in COPD. That's the, and the picture postcard is very easy this time. You have a picture of a hippo and picture of few traits. So, you add them together, you have to get Hippocrates father of medicine. So, and of course, uh, back to basics, uh, are there need more dimensions of space than what we see at the screen. So, people have quoted the string theory and etc. Really top class. I'm really grateful to all the people who have participated. And then, uh, there was a biology buzz where we've got a CTRI in several parts of India and one of them is in Rajamandri right now in our town. And I want to know if we can, if somebody has diagnosed or invented something or discovered something out of tobacco which can be used uh, for health purposes. And there's a blast from past. This is a picture of Mr. Basu in city, who is also the co-founder of this group, who is the brain behind the group actually. He was my super, super junior in college in school and a uh, former KVT student. And he's now a big, uh, industrialist in England and he has given me this idea of starting this health is well group and I am thankful to you sir and then this uh, spot the location was again in Macau, Shelton Hotel and I am very glad that many people have uh, recognized the spot uh, then there is this uh, picture of one uh, girl flying and this has been uh, so many people have read so many posts and uh, even poems about this girl. Apparently, I don't know what this represents, but 
I just want to know what other people thought. And uh, Mamilla Pillai Vijayalakshmi has come out beautiful, beautiful course and a beautiful poem. And she got a prize for this. And then uh, uh, the daily spotter for that day, that is 11th November, was a spirometry finding where the FBC and FEV1 were mentioned and the ratio of FEV1 to the FBC is the, uh, this is a case of residual lung function test and Girish Bhaskar got it right. Then the hazards of uh, smoking and how we can stop it and what is the myth of smoking stimulating the mind, etc. So that was asked and many people gave very interesting answers and uh, I posted them all and I think the person who got the prize was Prasad, Prasad Tata, who is a pharmacologist, I think, in New Jersey, USA. Thank you, Prasad Tata, for coming out with your nice answer. Because tobacco farming is very calm, very, uh, yeah, we see a lot of tobacco farmers, but they're all patients. And uh, I asked them to stop tobacco cultivation, but they say that they don't have, they don't have any alternative. So I was wondering whether there's any alternative for tobacco cultivation and how we can help these tobacco farmers. And because that's the main reason why tobacco is not being banned in India and also other countries. We also export tobacco. So, also people don't quit smoking, although because I make many people quit smoking by counseling them properly. Of course, I threaten them. I usually show them the pictures of lung cancer, etc. and probably but most people uh, need to actually know the effects of smoking because most of the times when you, the doctor says you should quit smoking, they say, I'll go to a new doctor. So the topic, the medical topic of that day was the drug called Roflumilast. It's a specific drug for COPD. That means chronic obstructive lung disease or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. COPD is a very common problem due to smoking and also due to air pollution. And uh, it's, it affects many people in India as well as abroad, and that's why. Uh, then this, uh, next day, that is 10th November, and some few birthday greetings, and we have the beautiful Swati Napal Paningapalli, for whom we will extend some birthday wishes. And a very good uh, post by Mahendra Raju Garu and Anjan Datta. And next we come to the next day, the medical report. Bump in your parts private, lump behind your breastplate. I'm a curable cancer. Treat me and I answer. Except if you're too late or leave all to fate. So this is a riddle for which the answer is a seminoma. There many people, it's, a, it's a, actually seminoma need not occur only in testis. It can occur even in mediastinum. The best case is Yuvraj Singh who had this problem. So for what, for after that also he got cured and he started playing cricket. So seminoma is a curable cancer. So. The riddle is about that, and I think many people have uh, come out with the answer. I think Devaki Agarwal, ten famous people who bet prostate and testicular cancer. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, and then uh, the next uh, riddle that I gave was about the picture puzzle. The picture puzzle this time was very uh, interesting because it is uh, a picture of a meth is seen first. I wish I could show you on online, but I, I don't think we have the capacity to do that. But anyway, maybe I should have a mirror. Then, uh, yeah. How to answer the picture puzzle? I am telling you, oh, Lakshmanji is losing internet. My God. <laughs> I hope he'll be in my suit soon. And then uh, the idea behind the picture puzzle is to make people more creative and also remember the actual thing so that we, we are more associated with uh, pictures rather than with words. So 
what remember word you have to also remember the pictures and this may help you as a mnemonic as i say or a memory reminder memory enhancer and of course uh, i was asking a question which i had in mind with the space back to basics now we're going to the next day i think anyway uh why space doesn't have properties and then uh, uh, is it bl- uh, fair to blame man for the climate changes that uh, earth is having and i wonder if man is really capable of doing that and a few more bark bushes and a beautiful painting of draupadi being uh, disrobed in the famous scene of uh, mahabharata and then spot the location this is a california science academy where i took the pic uh the pick of a girl to get pick okay and uh, the answer was very good and uh, this uh, particular daily spotter which uh, was i took it from an orthopedic uh, post which turns out uh, mr shivaram shivakumar mamilla pilli has told me that uh, there is actually a fracture of the skill which came also in the posterior side which is missed by many of us including uh, his own father but uh, it seems uh, this is also a fracture but there is uh, sacroiliitis actually so this can occur in acro ankylosing spondylosis and then uh, the legal hassles regarding chemical castration because uh, as you know people who of or who commit rape or some other deadly crimes against women must be punished of which there is no doubt but i was wondering whether chemical castration can be a legal recourse but so far it seems it is not so there have been as many as 39000 cases in 2016 alone in india and delhi is the famous as a rape capital of the world and so many tourists are afraid to come to india because of the problem of sexual harassment so if you want to make the country more tourist friendly we should make sure that the raping etc should be rape should be under control this is because uh, that day the topic that was put in the medical post was a drug called triptorlin all these drugs are very new to me the brand name is trelstar and this drug is used for uh, cancer prostate and also it can be used for chemical castration that's why all the posts about rape and all that so triptorlin this is also available in india it can be given once every 24 weeks and uh, we can even cure the cancer so now we have a lot of cancers which can be cured and uh, that day we had a lot of posts regarding clinical quiz and uh, again girish basket top the that day on november 9th the clinical quiz and uh, a lot of posts about uh, is words etc and uh, next we come to the other the next uh, day anomalous lump inside the pipe cause of blood pressure of a certain type not in the drain but in the vein just a foot not without any height so that was about fibrous dysplasia because that day the topic was of uh, hypertension secondary hypertension and what is the and then the picture of course back to basics biological there is a actually one painting which is i took it from a greek mythology site and this is posted in various uh, stories about how the that uh, story about andromeda then the spot the location i give the name of the hotel which is disalpis just by the side of the grindelwald route as you go to gang junkfo in switzerland and it was quite correctly located to many people and i think uh, you know shamla bodhika who got the prize and then there was the daily spotter was about the renal artery stenosis we renal artery stenosis due to fibrovascular dysplasia this is uh, correctly identified by several several people mind matters about yoga and meditation and uh, about it. money matters regarding internationalization of rupee and common corner why we still think that eclipse causes health problems etc and all that and that day the drug of uh, the drug that we were discussing about was baxdostat is a new drug for hypertension and which actually 
reduces hypertension even in patients with secondary hypertension. So that was the topic for that day. And uh, the daily spotters on that day was uh, were including one case of uh, W tread triventricle with uh, an override of the aorta, and this actually a riddle tetralogy of halo which came to me. And this patient underwent, uh, he, she actually needs surgery, but she had, she presented with heart failure, and I gave the echocardiography. And there was a patient who came, the patient with diabetic neuroreptopathy, and there's one patient who came with severe uh, dyspnea and shock. And on examination, she was so sick that she couldn't speak. And on examination, she was having an abscess in the left leg fossa and uh, right leg fossa. And that is proved to be appendicular abscess, etc. There's an ECG of SVT, which many people got. I think Girish uh, uh, Baskar got the prize for this. And a picture of renal angiogram, CT renal angiogram. Nowadays, we don't have to do an invasive angiogram. We can get even better pictures with the CT angio. This we have, get, uh, we have very good CT scans here. And as you can see in here, you can uh, see a renal artery stenosis in a patient. And this is correctly diagnosed by many people. And then there's a picture of a case of portal vein dilatation due to portal hypertension. And this is also answered. And the case of ECG with atrial fibrillation, a person with uh, low motor, uh, and the upper motor neuron paralysis mimicking Bell Bell's palsy. Actually, we think that if the upper part of the face is not involved, then only upper motor neuron uh, lesions are suspected. But it's not so. Some people can have even the upper part of the face also can be involved. So that was the message in that. And uh, medical crossword for that day. And yes, a lot of other uh, posts were there. And I think we gave a lot of messages and a lot of digest tea, a lot of advertisements. I don't know who posts the advertisements. But anyway, I allow them because there's no problem. Anybody who can uh, promote their products or who want to promote themselves. They can advertise on our uh, group for free because we want more comments, more posts, more reactions, etc. Currently, we're having about uh, 500 posts a day and uh, more than uh, 3,000 reactions a day. And uh, more this week, there will be more than uh, 1 lakh views for uh, all the group. And uh, this is how we in increase our uh, circulation. It's all more like an online magazine. So I got unending views of uh, so many posts. Never realized this. Anyway, Srimati, so many advertisement for uh, Himalayan products, subcumin, that is curcumin, which is present in turmeric. And uh, I congratulate uh, Venkatesh and Srinivasan on completion of his 45, 52 years of his marriage life. And uh, a picture of his marriage is still it is a very pristine shape. I mean, it is uh, really great that he has preserved this photograph for more than 50 years. It's really great, sir. And it's uh, our good luck that such senior doctors and senior people are participating and active in our group. And I'm thankful to you for that. And there's a photograph of his uh, earlier days and now how he is. He's still smart and uh, quite active and uh, birthday of uh, wishes of uh, our members and then uh, a riddle given five days ago i think it's tuesday symbol of symbiosis two types of divine bliss together we trivial severed with trivial our name borrowed for a skin rash old this is actually lichen i don't know why people miss this lichen is a, actually a symbol of symbiosis because we have algae and fungi in the same Organism. It's actually not one organism, but two types of organism living together. I think any biologist would have replied this. And also we have, we apply the same uh, word of lichen fanus to uh, lichen to different uh, skin conditions, like lichen fanus, lichen simplex, etc. And there's a brain tweezer. What is this? If you throw a blue stone to the Red Sea, what will it become? Of course, it will become wet. But then uh, there are more uh, imaginative answers, 
And Rosli John get got the prize for this because uh, he has answered it in a very uh, different way. And then again, we have the picture puzzle. The proof of that were, uh, was actually yeah, tuberculosis. A tuber, that is a potato, is seen, and a Q followed by low and cis means sisters. So that's how you can decipher or make out the diagrams. And then there was the picture of Lord Shiva attacking a dragon. Probably this is a Chinese drawing. And then the spot location was Upada. I think many people would have seen this place. And Shamla Nori got it first and she get she got the two birds. And then there was a the daily spot up of that day was about the EEG, which showed mu waves. And then the mind matters about what, what the psychedelic drugs can be used for psychiatry. And if they are researched enough, because earlier cannabis was banned, but now we find that cannabis is actually, can be, cannabis products are useful in medicine. So, and also about the, uh, the new drug called psycho from mushrooms called magic mushrooms and how we can prepare mushroom food etc and some jokes about mushroom and uh, best post that day etc were uh, included and then there was one uh, person the clinical quiz or some somebody has actually asked us for opinion many people gave it and then there were a lot of uh, lines about uh, Oh, a girl who just uh, reading YouTube videos got state rank. That's great. I'm really glad, glad about this. And I think... Uh, I'll come to the end of the show. And I'm, I again uh, thank all the members for uh, participating in our Health is Wealth. And I request you to keep participating and add new members, add your contacts, add your friends and let us make this group even uh, richer and more uh, educated for people because the mode of education is not by about learning or lecturing, it's by indirect means. Every day there are contests and every, it's all fun to watch and if people can actually decipher the riddles etc and also the picture puzzles which have started recently. These are all original. You can't find them in any other uh, magazine or any other group. So, and if you please answer this, you will be rewarded. This time the cash price is going to be rupees 3,000. That's what I'm glad to announce. And uh, I'm thinking if we get more donations from other people, we can even increase this to 5,000 or 10,000 even. So, I'm waiting for this. Uh, and so, I request all of you to please participate actively in our group. So, this is all for now. I've already crossed the limit. It's 38 minutes since I started the video. And uh, have a very good night and have a very good week ahead. And please participate. See you till next week. Goodbye. All the best. I'm ending the video.